Welcome to our webinar this morning on, uh, on our live away to Koh Samui, Thailand for 2024. I'm really excited to be sharing this with you, particularly since we just finished this program um, um, less than a month ago. Uh, we came back, we had a whole group of members who joined us in Koh Samui this year. Uh, and since then, we've been actively looking through all of the feedback and the comments. Uh, and so we have a new and improved program for you in 2024. And I'm excited to share that with you. If you are new to Wheel and Anchor, just a couple of words about who we are and what we do. Um, we are a relatively new player on the scene in Canada. Um, we are a travel community uh, and obviously an operator of trips uh, to all parts of the world. And our focus is on travelers, folks who have um, what we call a bit of a like-minded view of um, how they like to travel, how they like to interact with other travelers. Um, if you, when you, if you joined us recently, uh, or you may at, at any point you'll remember our travelers creed. Um, it's like a ten point list of the things that as travelers we share as sort of our philosophy, our uh, our raison d'être, like uh, the way that we, as I say, the way that we go around, and that's the thing that binds us together. And you know what I find that is so refreshing on each of these trips. I'm currently now in in Malta in the Mediterranean with a group of members. Um, and every single group, you know, there's this natural bond, this this real, this relaxed feeling that you have in in traveling with people when you know that you know you've got somebody that's like your neighbor, uh, and and so we bring all these folks together uh, and have some wonderful experiences, and that is. Um, what we are all about at Wheel and Anchor. And our goal, of course, this is a wonderful shot from our sunset cruise in, in Thailand. So this picture was taken, um, as I say, just about uh, barely a month ago. Uh, and uh, we are all about getting connected, getting, getting connected to the places that we visit, um, to uh, our fellow travelers, and of course, the people that we meet along the way. And when you come along and live away in particular, you have more time to, um, to relax, settle in, to meet people, um, you know, hang out, whether it's at the beach, if you're in Koh Samui, or if you're one of our tropical destinations, or, uh, or you know, at a coffee shop, or wherever it happens to be. Uh, and, and that's, again, the experience that we are looking for our members to enjoy. I just wanted to share with you a few memories of this last trip. Um, a bunch of our members started off with our pre-trip in, in, in Bangkok, um, where we enjoyed some of the highlights of this bustling city. Uh, so it was, uh, it, was a, it was a very different feeling to what we enjoyed on Koh Samui, which is, of course, uh, you know, a tropical island famous for its beaches. Uh, and uh, we, we had a great time exploring this vibrant city and, you know, the floating markets like we saw here. Um, we also took in in Koh Samui some shows. You can see the fun that we had. And this is another common theme. It's like it's really important um, for us that we have fun along the way. And so we had some uh, we had some wonderful parties. We had some live music. We attended a, a, a cabaret uh, here with the local lady boys. We had a, we had a lot of fun and laughs. Uh, and uh, we, we saw a fire show on the beach. Um, and so we did a number of things that, you know, when we have a few more people like we do on a trip like this, um, we uh, we are able to put together social events that are exclusively for us. Um, and uh, and as I say, it's it's a great way to just just have fun and, and do something knowing that you're um, with, amongst um, amongst other fellow Canadian travelers, like-minded people. I will say on that note, something that we are doing differently, one of the new and improved things for 2024, we had quite a large group that came with us last uh, this uh, this past month. Um, and so uh, next year we are um, changing uh, both the hotel location and we're also changing the format. Uh, and uh, because we have a special new hotel located right on the beach in Thailand, it's um, it's smaller, uh, and we have a, a, will be limited to to about thirty members in total. Um, and so, um, I'll, I'll go into that in just a second. First of all, um, without further ado, for those of you who don't know us, I'll introduce myself uh, and my colleagues here who join me on the webinar today. I'm Gordon, founder of Wheel and Anchor, um, and I've been organizing trips for Canadians since long before uh, the concept of Wheel and Anchor came up. So. Um, well over 30 years, uh, and uh, I'm joined by my amazing team of colleagues, particularly Paula, who is with me hosting in Thailand uh, and is uh, joining from the snowy Ottawa Valley. Missing it. I'm ready to go back. 
<laughs> exactly. And to Barb Comeggis, who's uh, also one of our trip specialist team, and she's hiding there in the background, but always available for our members. And so today, we're going to tell you some reasons why you should consider joining us next winter um, in Thailand, in Koh Samui, which is one of our tropical liveaways, um, where we, we, we will be returning in January and February of next year. What is the idea behind a liveaway for those of you, again, who are new to Wheel and Anchor, new to this concept? Well, it is, as the name suggests, it is the opportunity to live away for a while. So it's more than just your average vacation because we spend a longer period of time. Now, one big change that we've made to our liveaways for 2024 and going forward is, is that we are breaking them into two week blocks. So um, some of our members really, really enjoyed uh, the fact that we spent a month in Thailand uh, just uh, just earlier this year, um, where, where, whereas others said, you know, think two weeks would have been enough and they'd love to combine it with another destination. And some of our members actually did that because following this live away, um, we will have two other opportunities uh, for you to do. One of them is a special uh, wellness and yoga program that we're going to be doing on the adjacent island of Koh Phangan. And also after the second uh, live away, so after the second two week block, we will continue with our live away in Bali, Indonesia, where in fact, some of our members are still there uh, from this year's live away in Bali, and they're having a marvelous time. It's also a terrific uh, live away that we'll be talking about on another uh, on another webinar. And so the live away is organized so that um, it's uh, we travel typically with a bit bigger group, so twenty to thirty people. In this case, um, it'll be the maximum will be uh, around thirty. But all of our excursions are organized in groups of between sort of eight and twelve people on average. Um, which means that when you go out with our guide, and we had a we have a wonderful guide in Thailand by the name of Nina, um, who is so knowledgeable and so passionate and friendly, and I think everybody really really enjoyed her. Um, and so you have that more intimate experience of just being with a handful of other members with your guide in a van going around seeing these sites um, being flexible and it's 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 very different than a typical tour group type of an experience um, you also have flexibility on a live away in that we give you a whole bunch of excursions to choose from um, and you can kind of do as much as or, or as little as you like so you know when you get the package from us we include an activity credit the, uh, the amount of that is dependent on whether you stay for two weeks or four weeks or even six weeks. Um, and then you can use that against any of the excursions that we offer. And so some of our members um, are uh, were there really to relax and enjoy and didn't want to take on a whole, uh, a whole lot. Um, and so they didn't even use up the activity credit. And then, of course, we write you a check for the difference. Um, others used it all up and still others were like, I want to do everything. Um, and they're there really to explore and, and, and see all the different things and all that we have to offer, um, in which case there you uh, you pay a little extra to do the uh, the other excursion. So that is, in a nutshell, how the live away concept works. And so far, we're getting rave reviews. So let's talk about Koh Samui. Uh, so first of all, uh, Koh Samui is a, an island in the Gulf of Thailand. So if you look here at the inset map on the left side of the screen, you'll see Thailand, which is, of course, in Southeast Asia. Over here on the left, this is the Indian Ocean, or what they call locally the Andaman Sea. And this is the Gulf of Thailand. You have Thailand here, you have Cambodia, you have Vietnam down at the um, peak here. Uh, and uh, Koh Samui is this little island down here. It's a part of the archipelago. There's three islands, Koh Samui, Pangan, and Koh Tao. Um, this is the largest of the islands. Um, for those of you that are familiar with Thailand, of course, Bangkok, the capital here, is on the north shore of the Gulf of Thailand. And down here, um, in the very bottom left, is the island of Phuket, which is perhaps the most famous, the busiest of tourist islands, not just in Thailand, but in all of Southeast Asia. And so Koh Samui is a great spot because um, what's really neat about the Gulf of Thailand is, is that it's not on the Indian Ocean. So people say to me sometimes, oh, what about tsunamis? Well, the tsunamis, the, the uh, earthquakes that cause um, uh, tsunamis happen on the Ring of Fire, which is on the Indian Ocean. So we don't get that in the Gulf of Thailand um, because you're protected by the isthmus uh, that is uh, that is Thailand and, and runs down to the Malaysian border. Also, um, because of this uh, peninsula here where Cambodia and Vietnam are, you seldom ever get um, 
uh, really bad weather. They just they just don't get it. They, they get storms from time to time, but they don't get the cyclones and the typhoons that ravage parts of the Philippines because you're protected in here. In any event, at this time of the year, when we go in January, this is the beginning of the dry season. It usually starts around uh, the middle of, of January, just around the time that we are planning this trip. Um, and so, uh, you know, you may get a spot of rain here or there. We had a little bit on this, this year's trip, um, but for the most part, you have sunshine, blue sky the whole time. So as I say, this year, what's new and exciting for the program uh, for 2024 is, is that we have found a wonderful boutique hotel right on the beach uh, on the largest uh, and softest stretch of sand beach in Koh Samui um, called Chawang. So this is on the east side of the island. Um, and we've identified a wonderful place uh, called the Muang Samui. Uh, this is actually family owned. I've met the owners of this, uh, of this resort uh, and it's designed, it's inspired, it's very Thai feeling. You see here um, the architecture. This is the pavilion, the restaurant that's located by the beach and the bar area that it's, um, it, it still has a very Thai feel to it. Um, a lot of resorts in, in, in Thailand that have been built recently are a very contemporary design, which is all fine and dandy. But of course, when you're in Thailand, you kind of want to feel like you're in Thailand. And as I say, the location is really idyllic because you're right on this long stretch of beach called Chawang. Uh, this is right at your front door. Uh, and so for members who are joining us from this year, I think, oh, we should have stayed there. Um, but of course, we didn't have that opportunity this year. Uh, and so we're really, really excited to have this hotel uh, in our program for next year. And you can walk down, I think it's about five kilometers of beach that is, as I say, right here on your doorstep. Uh, and so the location is really terrific. And what I particularly liked about this uh, new uh, resort that we're offering is, is that it's in a busy part of the island, the area of Chawang. So if you walk out the front door, the lobby where the where you come in off the road, it's full of restaurants and bars. It's very, very lively. But the moment you walk into the resort, you're in a jungle landscape. And so all of the villas, all of the rooms face onto this um, beautiful jungle-like atmosphere. It feels completely different um, than the hustle bustle of um, outside. So you have a little bit of best, uh, the best of both worlds. It's got a wonderful um, natural shaped um, saltwater pool with almost like a beach like access, easy to get in and out of. Um, and as I say, the various rooms are located all along the sides. And um, this here, for example, is a picture of a standard room, um, which is hardly standard. As you can see, it is uh, it is beautifully, beautifully designed uh, in, uh, again, Thai inspired design, um, very large. So our the smallest room category is 50 square meters, so about 500 square feet. Um, a little bit more actually, um, with um, large beds, um, shower, anyway, just wonderfully appointed rooms. Um, we also have rooms with private pool that are available and also rooms um, that are the so-called royal suites, which are in fact about 1500 square feet, about 150 square meters in size. So they're really huge, separate living area, balcony. Um, and we even have a couple that have a private pool for those who really want the ultimate um, sort of villa experience um, and still in this enclave of this wonderful resort on uh, Chowang Beach. So uh, that is, uh, here's an example of the, the, the Royal Suite. So really wonderful accommodations, uh, quite different than what we had this past year, uh, which was lovely, um, but this is a, a big step up for us next year. And again, thanks to the members uh, who uh, gave us some terrific feedback from our last live away, because as, as those who have been with us before know, um, no tri two trips are ever exactly alike with us because we're constantly fine tuning, tweaking, making things better and better every single time. What do I do in Kosa movie on a typical day? Well, this is a good question because we either have um, uh, an excursion for you to choose from, excursions that are um, last for half the day where we often go out to, um, and I'll tell you about some of the excursions uh, that, that, that are that go for part of the day and then come back in time for lunch or we go out for a full day trip. Um, we have some boat trips. But if you decide to just relax here now, we have this hotel on the beach. You can go for long walks all the way down to the end of Chawang and back. I don't think anybody actually made it all the way to the end of the beach. 
but I can recall, Paula, I don't know if anybody actually walked the whole length of Chewing Beach. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if someone did. There oh, was they, some they did. walkers. I mean, we had some good walkers in this group for sure. Um, or you might imbibe in some of the local wellness. And of course, spa and wellness is a very uh, yeah, inherent part of Thai culture. Um, you can find little Thai massage parlors on every corner. They're as ubiquitous as 7-Elevens or at home Starbucks or more so. Um, or you can enjoy the wonderful facilities that the hotel has. They have a wonderful spa complex um, that you can do all man manner of treatments. Or as I say, you can just go for a little massage on the beach. And this is part of Thai culture, something that everybody does. And compared to home, it's very, very, very reasonably priced. So, um, you know, if you're thinking about uh, a month where you can get away um, and enjoy massages and body scrubs and facials and all those wonderful things, there is hardly any better place to do it than in Thailand because the value for the money is really, really terrific. Um, I'm going to share with you a few of the excursions that we have in Thailand, and they vary from our, um, you know, our, our boat trips, um, as well as to some of the cultural excursions that we had on offer. So you get to kind of get a sense of more than just a beach holiday, but you really get to involve yourself and, and learn about Thai culture, um, which again, our members appreciated so much. One of our most popular trips uh, is a visit to the Angklong Marine Park. We have a private speedboat that takes us about an hour across the Gulf of Thailand to this archipelago of 42 islands that are unbelievably beautiful, absolutely idyllic, in some ways similar to like Halong Bay in Vietnam, if you've been there, or to uh, Guilin in China, or, you know, these rock formations that are all protected that jut out of the water cliffs. Um, and of course, it's practically uninhabited other than a very small village of, of locals that have been there for, um, for, for a long, long time. And we go and we visit beaches and we go swimming and snorkeling and um, it's a wonderful day out. Um, there's also a little place called uh, Komatsum in the south of, of Koh Samui, where they have this island that was inhabited by pigs amongst other people. So it's a lot of fun to go there. We take a ride on a traditional Thai long tail. That's the wooden boats where they have the engine, those loud engines um, out the back on the long shaft. That's why they call them the long tails. And we go and visit this island um, that is uh, famous for having its pigs. We had a lot of fun down there. Another one of our boat trips is up to one of the neighboring islands called Koh Tao. This is the diving capital of Thailand. Uh, and so although uh, members who want to go diving certainly have that opportunity, but but um, generally, we go here by speedboat. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes or so to get there. Um, we circumnavigate the island, uh, and uh, we have a chance to go snorkeling in different spots. Um, one of the most beautiful coral re reefs is off of Koh Nang Yuan in this bay that you see here in the picture in the center. Um, and uh, people really enjoyed it. We had a delicious shore lunch. Um, and all in all, a great day out. Um, uh, we also, as I said, as I mentioned, have some social activities that we do. And one of them was uh, in the picture I showed earlier on um, was a, a sunset cruise. In fact, we did it on a what looks like a little bit like a pirate ship or a Spanish galleon. Um, we had the whole group together. Um, we had a buffet on board. We had drinks. Um, we had music and dancing. We had a heck of a lot of fun. Um, and uh, we, we did that uh, around the end of the day, around sunset. And uh, uh, it was, uh, yeah, as I say, one of the fun social activities that we had for our members. Um, Thai cooking, renowned around the world. Uh, and we have a wonderful spot uh, on the island that we that's called the nature. Um, it's actually not too far from where our hotel is located. And um, here we get to uh, an introduction into um, some of these delicious food that you find. And I think uh, everybody universally loved the food in Thailand. Um, it's not necessarily as spicy as you might think it is, or it, it can be, or it can't be. Um, because all the different dishes are prepared with varying degrees of chili. And we get a little bit of an insight in that by participate in a Thai cooking course. And I know that our members took away some of those experiences back home and are probably preparing some of those dishes today. The island next door to Kopa, uh, to Koh Samui, uh, in fact, the island that I reside on is called Koh Pangan. Uh, this is a this is again a beautiful island that is two thirds covered by jungle, um, and we have a couple of different experiences on Koh Pangan that we offer. Um, we travel over by ferry, 
uh, in the morning. And in one case, we have a jungle walk where we go with a local who's very dedicated to preservation of the environment. And he takes us on a walk into the jungle and shows us the different um, trees and plants and how they were traditionally used in uh, for food and for medicine and all sorts of different things. And we really understand so much about the coconut. In fact, they share with us four different coconuts to try that you probably didn't even realize that there were, I didn't even realize how many different varieties of coconuts there are. And one of the other days, actually, we go by long tail boat and we travel from the north side of the island at an idyllic beach. We have lunch uh, at, a, at a wonderful um, uh, vegetarian restaurant that's there. And we travel down by long tail all around the shore here, um, exploring the little bays. And we end up uh, at a spot just down here. Uh, you can't quite see it on this picture where we uh, stop and uh, have a, uh, some cocktails um, before heading back to um, uh, back to Koh Samui. And I'll mention on this slide as well what we're going to be coming out with uh, very, very soon, uh, because a lot of people were quite enamored by Koh Pangan, is we're going to be coming out with a special uh, wellness and yoga week or two weeks that you can bolt on to your Koh Samui trip. So if you're somebody that's interested in uh, uh, a little bit more about uh, about wellness and uh, uh, it's, there's even a spirituality component to it, it's a really, really exciting program that we're just putting together um, so you could extend your stay by another week or two um, on this island. And as I say, stay tuned for details on that. As I mentioned as well, it's important to us, and this is something a lot of the people that you know, typically go to Koh Samui for a week and just sit on the beach and, and get a sunburn, uh, people often don't realize uh, that there are some beautiful temples to visit. And we had a couple of different experiences, our temples trip, where we went in and learned a little bit from our guide and from the monks that we met there about uh, about Buddhism, about Thai culture, uh, and uh, the importance of, of Buddhism and how it really shaped uh, the country and the lifestyle of the people. Uh, yet another one of our social activities was a fire show. I mean, if you haven't seen a fire show before, then the ones in Thailand are really spectacular. Uh, and so we will be organizing that once again um, uh, with a big dinner on the beach. Uh, and that, that was uh, a, another fun social activity where we got everybody together. Uh, and as I say, one other uh, thing that we did was uh, a special ritual with the monks um, where we went and we um, sat with them and were blessed and again learned a little bit about uh, Buddhism and and the rituals and, and philosophies that go along with it. Of course, if you're going to travel all the way over for Koh Samui, you might want to spend uh, a few days before or after in uh, Bangkok or Chiang Mai. Um, about half of our group this year went with us to Bangkok, where, which uh, we did at the very beginning of the trip. Um, we stayed at a wonderful place right on the Chao Phraya River, which is what you see here that carves its way uh, through Bangkok. Uh, and so it was a great spot, the Anantara, right on the river. Uh, and from here, we explored um, what this gigantic city has to offer. We, we took in uh, the Grand Palace and Wat Po, uh, and we also uh, went a little bit out of the city to see these um, famous floating markets that you have, as well as the railway market, um, where the train comes through. You've probably seen this uh, on a travel show before, um, and all the vendors lift up all their stuff. It was, a, it was really an exciting experience. So Bangkok is a great place to start or end your trip. And as well in Chiang Mai, um, this year we included Chiang Mai in the middle of the program, and some of the feedback was I think folks would have been rather just stayed there uh, and, and not uh, broken up the, the stay in Koh Samui. So, so for next year, um, we're going to be offering Chiang Mai as either a pre-trip, so to do beforehand, or to go uh, after Koh Samui. Uh, and uh, the dates for that will be in the program itinerary. And of course, Chiang Mai is one of the cultural central centers of Thailand. It's up in the north um, uh, amongst the, the beautiful uh, jungled hills. Uh, and uh, we visit a number of the temples for which the city is so famous. Um, but we also have a chance here to go out and see um, an elephant sanctuary. And I know that that experience in and of itself is one of the highlights when I was looking through feedback from our members um, the opportunity to um, spend the day or spend part of the day with the elephants, learning about them, feeding them, um, even washing them, bathing with them is what we did as well. Uh, it was a it was a wonderful experience. Uh, and once again, we have a beautiful hotel um, that we use in Chiang Mai called the Anantara Riverside uh, that I think was, uh, again, a, a, a wonderful place to just to, to hang out for a few days. Um, 
So as I mentioned before, our, uh, our uh, post-trip or pre-trip, depending on uh, um, when it is that you want to go and all the dates and so on will be in our program itinerary. Um, we're going to have a one or a two-week program on Kopangan uh, where we have a, a wonderful couple who do a whole uh, program of, of wellness, which includes um, yoga, includes various other um, modalities of, of healing and spirituality. And a lot of people were really quite interested in this uh, concept and this idea. So we'll probably have a special webinar on that um, when we have all the details ready. So if it's something that sort of piques your interest, um, then this is one of the best places, uh, not just in Thailand, but I think anywhere in the world to, uh, to go on a little bit of a, a wellness journey, even if it's just for a week. So details on that forthcoming. Uh, and of course, we will, as with this year, uh, be offering our live away to Bali, Indonesia. And as I say, our members are just wrapping up that trip now. Uh, and feedback from our host, Amber, has been very positive. Um, people have really loved it. We also have a beachfront hotel in Bali. You can join us for two or four weeks um, and take in the uh, amazing culture, the Hindu culture uh, in, in Bali, Indonesia, um, or just soak up the rays and the sun on the beach and uh, so many things to do on that wonderful island details on that coming up. So I will touch on a, a few of the uh, um, uh, details that you'll find in our detailed program itinerary, and then I'll ask for any questions that you might have about this trip. Uh, so the program will be available um, next year, as I say, on a 14, 28, or 42 night basis, so you can stay for two, four, six weeks as you wish. Um, at the beautiful Royal Muang Samui Chawang Hotel. Um, various room categories available there. Um, and so you can see the rates um, for a two week stay. Um, and uh, the uh, supplement for singles is actually pretty good in the scheme of things. And I know nobody likes to pay the single supplement, but uh, um, the prices are, are, are pretty good. And what that includes, of course, is um, your local transportation. Um, we have breakfast, a sumptuous breakfast buffet every day. Your activity credit, depending on how long you choose to join us for. Um, we have English speaking guides. It's Nina and her colleagues that are just wonderful throughout uh, the time. We give you a SIM card. Uh, so that you have uh, connectivity. This is what we do on all of our liveaways. Um, and it's a great way to connect with other members, um, to communicate what's going on. Uh, and this is, again, a hallmark of our trips. Uh, and uh, of course, it's hosted by one of our Wheel and Anchor hosts. And um, yeah, that basically is what is included in the program. So the only thing that you need to bolt on, of course, is airfare, um, which we are always happy to help you with insurance. Uh, and um, the program in Bangkok and Chiang Mai, uh, there may or may not be a wheel and anchor host, depending on how many members that we actually have sign up for those. But we have terrific um, local representatives, guides uh, that were a real delight to travel with. So uh, they will be uh, with you in any event on those parts of the trip. Um, talking about airfare, uh, just for those of you interested in what's this all going to cost me, um, out of Toronto, typically you're looking at $14 to $1,600, depending on when you book your flight. Uh, and Vancouver is a little bit less because it's a little bit closer. Uh, and um, yeah, that's there are a number of different ways to get there. Of course, now Air Canada has a nonstop flight from Vancouver to Bangkok the, for the first and only flight in 10 years that exists between uh, North America and Thailand. So we're lucky to have that service in place. But quite honestly, uh, many of our members flew on EVA Airways via Taipei um, and were really complimentary on the service that they got there. So um, you have options in any event. Uh, and for those of you who are interested in joining us next year, we have an early booking bonus. So if you book your live away program before the end of April, um, we were working with the hotel. Uh, and so uh, they were kind enough to extend us a special deal for those where we get deposits down early on. So a good uh, opportunity for you to get in early and uh, as I say, book before the end of next month um, and save $500 per person for those who join before April the 30th. So uh, it's time to entertain any questions about this program. Uh, and uh, But of course, if a question comes up later on, um, do email either Paula or Barb. They'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, and uh, if they don't have the answer right away, it's never far away. So um, please, Paula, 
Yeah, I've done a lot of questions that have been coming in. So I'll okay, good. Them here. Um, one question's come in with regards to how widely spoken is English in Thailand? Yeah, so English is amongst um, hospitality personnel is pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't say it's perfect. Uh, it's 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 better in other countries, but certainly at our hotel, um, at any of the restaurants in the immediate area, um, English is fairly well spoken. That being said, if you wander out into one of the local markets um, and are trying to talk with the locals, you find that English is a bit more of a challenge. But most of our members, I think, got by pretty well. There's if you get again, you know, if we give you a SIM card, you bring your uh, smartphone along and it's very easy to type in a phrase in English and get the result in Thai and then be able to show it um, so you can get by. Um, but um, yeah, I, we didn't have anybody, I think, comment, Paula, that I recall that said that they were, were too concerned about uh, voting. No, I, I think for the, yeah, it's a pretty high percentage that it, it's quite easy enough. And um, my best friends, the communication tool on Google Translate when I need it anywhere in the world. So uh, I yeah, it comes in handy. Oh, sorry. Have another question here from Jim with regards to if someone was to look at doing the two weeks Kosumui, the one week um, spa, which I'm assuming maybe means the the wellness um, week that's to be released still. And then they wanted to carry on to Bali for three weeks. Um, would they be arriving in the middle of the Bali session? That's a good question. Um, and I'd say that's one where uh, Jim will have to get back to you on that uh, because we'll have to see how we can facilitate that. I have thought that that question might come up. So we will uh, we'll come back and let you know if that's possible. Perfect. And a secondary question to that would be, does the $500 early booking discount apply whether someone's booking um, any of the durations of, of stay, the two, four, or six weeks. Yeah, it's, it's the same. It's just, it is it is a flat 500. That's the deal that we got, as I say, that the hotel uh, extended to us. So um, regardless if you book two, four, or six weeks, it's a, it's a one-time um, thing per person um, if you book before April the 30th. Perfect. A um, couple other questions here with regards to what is the currency in Thailand and what are the best forms of payment to use um, throughout? Okay, uh, so Thailand uses the Thai baht, um, which is about uh, 25 to the Canadian dollar. So it's a little bit of a funny conversion because things cost hundreds or thousands of Thai baht. Um, if... Uh, it is a, Thailand is a country that if you're if you're going out and enjoying you know small local restaurants or, or going to the market, um, you 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 do need to generally use uh, cash. Um, but that being said, certainly the hotel, any bigger restaurants um, will all accept uh, credit cards. We highly recommend using the Wise card because you can easily convert. Um, in fact, one of our members uh, that's on this trip was saying she just leaves everything on her WISE card in Canadian dollars, and it automatically converts it at about the best rate that I've seen going. Um, so that's another way to handle it. But uh, And then you can take out money. Um, you, Of course, if there's local service charges at the bank in Thailand, um, they charge a fee. That's nothing we can do about that. But at least you don't get dinged with your bank at home charging you another fee on top of that. <laughs> Perfect. A um, couple of questions here. I think we have someone who might be considering coming back to Samui with us, Paulette. Um, can you repeat the name of the hotel again? Yeah, the hotel is called Muang, M-U-A-N-G, Muang Samui. Yeah, it'll be on our documentation. Be, exactly. We, we, don't, uh, we don't hide the locations we're staying at. It'll be in, uh, included in the information. Yeah. Um, a question here from Ingrid was asking, what is the average pricing on our pre and post options? Okay, so it'll be in the program as well. But I believe that the uh, four night uh, Chiang Mai program will be around $1,900, if I'm not mistaken, Canadian. Um, and so that's because we're staying in a really a five star deluxe resort. And we have a very customized uh, uh, set of programs in there. Uh, and uh, Bangkok was similar, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, we will have all that pricing available for you um, in the program itinerary, and to the extent 
that anything is not quite out yet because we are chasing down our partners in Thailand to give us our, the prices and the details for next year. Um, we will get it to you as soon as possible. But I think most of it is in the information that will be released together with a replay of this webinar. Yeah. Definitely. All the inclusions and details, because there is a few different options there, doubles, twin, single occupancy, et cetera, um, will be well laid out for everyone, depending on what your preferences are. Perfect. Um, another question here has come in. Um, what are the options for lunch and dinner? And are there kitchens uh, in the accommodation? Yeah, so the this new program that we have this year uh, at the Wang Samui is uh, this is a, a deluxe five star boutique hotel. Do not have uh, they don't have kitchens in the rooms. Um, but the feedback that we got from this year, because the hotel we used this year had kitchens in the rooms, and very few people actually use them, or at least they didn't use it anymore. For um, you know, uh, uh, obviously a, a kettle is there to, to 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 sort of make tea or whatever, uh, and so. Uh, because there are a plethora of places that you can go out and eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, breakfast obviously being included, um, and it can be very inexpensive to eat in Thailand. So um, we found that members were, were very pleasantly surprised that you can go around the corner, you can get a, you know, a plate of, uh, of rice and green curry for two or three dollars, or you can go out to the finest um, Michelin star meals and spend a uh, hundred times that. So all sort of... Um, uh, all types of and and all types and amounts uh, from a like dollar amounts of cuisine, I suppose, <laughs> for lack of a better word, are are available, and so that's why most members said, um, "Yeah, we didn't really find that they needed the kitchenette, so we decided to go with a hotel um, on the beach in lieu of that." Yeah, I support that statement. Two months not having to cook and clean up my own meals, I quite <laughs> enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I wasn't complaining at all. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So that's all the questions that I've had that have come in so far. And Great. Yeah. If you do have any other questions, obviously Paula, Barb are available to answer any questions. Just drop us an email. That's the easiest way to get a hold of us. Our phones have been quite busy of late, um, but we will uh, give you a call back. Um, and uh, we do hope that you'll join us next year. And oh, so, uh, I see one more question came in here about for the discount for... Um, we will have the info out on Bali very, very soon as well by the end of this month and the early booking bonus will be there, there, I believe will be one it's we're just negotiating with the hotel so just bear with us on Bali for a bit because uh, um, as I say this year's trip hasn't even finished yet, <laughs> so we've been pressing for them to give us the rates for next year as soon as we have all that info. Um, we'll get to you, but I'm hoping that we are able to uh, get the same deal in place from them as we had uh, as we have in Thailand. Um, and so we're we're rushing as quick as we can to get all the info together because I know a lot of folks are interested in going to both Thailand and Bali next year, just as a number of our members did this year. Good. All right. Thank you for joining us. And as I say, if you do have any other questions, drop us a note. We're always here. And uh, next week we will be presenting you. Uh, what are we presenting next week? Uh, well, next week we have. I just talked about it yesterday. I can't even remember. We have oh. another webinar this time next week, and it's on. I don't have it in front of me. It doesn't matter. Just look for our newsletter as usual on Saturday. Our newsletter will come out and our uh, next two or three webinars will be listed there. Um, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, same time, same place. Next week, it will be on Wednesday again, uh, just because of our schedule here. Uh, Malta. <laughs> See, there you go. After one of our members had to say, <laughs> thank you, Jean. Next week will be Malta, which is where I am here right now. And so I'll be able to tell you firsthand about this incredible destination in the Mediterranean. <laughs> Thank you, Gene. <laughs> See, what a community we are. I appreciate that. Have yourselves a great week and uh, look forward to, uh, to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.